like reading, I like reading, I like reading books. I'm coming to you live from my new apartment, which is very exciting. As you can see, I have a fireplace, a fireplace, and I have shoes. I also painted the walls. I painted this one a dark gray, and then I painted the wall that I'm looking at light gray. This wall is kind of fighting with this wall, but there's always a balance maintained by the tension of opposites. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of tension of opposites, oh wait, I'm reviewing a book called War and Peace. Yo, someone needs to holler at the typography expert who, who made this book, because damn, there was a lot of information in this book. This book had more information than a phone book. There's really kind of like three, three things happening in, in the text. The first is we sort of get the history of the Napoleonic Wars, the conflict between Russia. I'm going to make Russia this little dude. So this is a letter opener. So it's about the conflict between Russia and France. You got to keep them separated. Remember that one? France at the time was headed up by Napoleon, who was real little. So I'm going to put him down here. So here's Russia and France. They keep, they're fighting. They're having a conflict. They're, they're like, no, I want to be inside of Moscow. I want to live. I want to live in a castle. I want to speak. I want to make my language the language of the whole world. That was Esperanto, and that failed. The second part is the sort of storyline of of the different characters. This book primarily follows two families, two Russian aristocratic families, in addition to this other dude. That's me in the corner. The members of these different families are constantly like getting together, breaking up. It's like freaking General Hospital over here. It seriously is. Like anyone who could get together and, you know, like have a crush, they have the crush. It's like that Jennifer Page song. Cue the Jennifer Page song. It's just a little crush. But I like that dude. I was going to marry him, but now my family's poor and we don't have money and we we accidentally like played too much poker, had a lot of debts. Yeah, that sucks when you play poker with an asshole and bet all your family's money away. Ah, uh, I did that last week. Whew, that gave me a lot of stress. The third component is basically the narrator, which I think we can safely regard as Leo Tolstoy himself. His sort of discourse on history and like the very like essence of historical analysis. Tolstoy definitely has the perspective of we don't, we don't really have free will and that we're governed by, by forces like so much greater than ourselves that we can't even comprehend them. Forces like, you know, gravity and huge stars and the Milky Way and Snickers that, um, but I'm ching. I think this, this book and a lot of what Tolstoy discusses really revolves around death and our conception of our own mortality. Certain characters grow and ultimately kind of like fulfill their their ultimate um, destiny by coming to terms with the fact that they're going to die. So if you're in the mood to like co totally become engrossed in a book and think about some kind of heavy philosophical stuff, go for it. You should read War and Peace. I think it's a good thing to just like check off the bucket list. Um, if you're not, Read The Death of Ivani Leach. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. War and peace! Pull up in a monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka.